Ranty. Oregon. All right. Here's those two uh, custom built and the uh, Tom Howard that I'm going to restore. A couple videos ago, I did the reaming out of them, reamed them all out. So, what I'm going to be using is uh, kosher salt. I always use kosher salt, don't use the granulated, anything doesn't work. So, kosher salt. I usually use the 90 something isopropyl alcohol. I'm just going to use the 70. I know some people use um, Everclear, things like that. That's fine, that's just what I use. A little container, a wide dropper. And I use a uh, sand to set my pipes in. So that way, um, you guys can see. So that way, if I need to set them up high, it's like an oom pawl, and this and the shank opening comes up, and the bowl comes up, I can set them up high, or I can adjust them however I need to. You know what I mean? So. That's what I use. I didn't have any stands back then either, so that's why I started using uh, just what I had around the house. All right. And at some point, I'll start using uh, Q-tips. You know, I'll fill up the bowl, um, dunk this in alcohol, or put a few drops of alcohol in the shank, and I'll clog it up. But at the beginning of them, they're nasty, which these were. I salt treat the shanks, so I'll put I'll put salt in the shank and in the bowl. And usually how I'll do that is I will either just pour it directly in the bowl, which these are pretty wide shanks. Now the Tom Howard's a pretty wide shank. Custom built a little bit smaller. Or I'll pull it I'll pull pour a little bit down in here, and I'll hold my thumb over it, and I'll tap it until that salt works its way down here and fills up the shank. And then I'll fill this up, and I'll take my thumb off of it. So I'll show you both, I guess. Just how I do it, not a it's not a science. Okay. Like on the Tom Howard, I'll just fill up the shank. I'm just fill a little bit probably. Tap it in. And a lot of that, some of that will work down into the bowl so you don't waste it. Put my finger over it here. Tap it a little bit, you can feel it work its way a little bit down in there. Until you get it down below that shank rim. I just want to get it to about the level I want, which is a little bit below. I want a little bit low because I don't want that alcohol. Once I go put that in, it to spill out the sides. It'll stain the. Um, it will. It'll. You know, it'll affect the stain of the pipe. It'll stain the stain in effect. So now that I've got it about that far in the shank, I'm gonna fill up the bowl. Don't do this to a mirror show. Pipe affairs. Don't do this to the mirrors. Nobody salt treat a mirror I've done it myself. So, we've got it up to the rim, just a little below, and we've got it to the shank, just a little below. And then I'll just set it in here at a good angle. The angle that I look for is where if I put it in the bowl, if I put drops in the bowl, it's not going to spill out the shank, and every pipe is different. So. Here's the Meerschaum I ruined. And it's one of the first ones I got, first estate groups I got. And if you can see, there's cracks all up along there. Um, all up along. It's kind of hard to see. Just cracked all in there. Just in a crack from the front, all the way to the back, up it, down it. Would have been a nice little little smoker, but. Old one, not sure. So pipe of pears, I'm there with you. I've been there, done that. I even knew better. I should have known better. I was just like, let me get it right. All right, now with a smaller shank, I'm just going to put my thumb over it. I'm going to put just a little bit in there. You see there's just a little bit down in there? And then I'm going to try and work it down. 
and you'll start seeing salt appear there down through the shank opening in the bottom of the bowl. And it's not going out in there. Some shank opening, this one's pretty rough. It needs to be reamed out a little more, but I'm not to the shank part yet, so I haven't done that. But that's what I normally do, I put a little bit down in there and I knock it until it just filters down through that little uh, shank hole opening. And it's getting a little down in there, but I won't be able to. It's not working. So, you can pretty much just pour it in there. And kind of tap it down so it'll always settle. So, I got that shank filled up. I don't know, you know how to do this on all of them, but they're really nasty, like this one was. And this one is heavy use. So it'll be fun. I love I love doing the ones that are just real bad. I love to bring them back to life when it's real uh really well used. Versus one that's, you know, kind of been used. It's easy to bring back, you don't have to do much to it. Alright. There's that one. Shank filled up. Put them in there. So now they're ready for the alcohol treat up.